this is the second part of our video tutorial sorry for uh, the video stopping all of a sudden in the last part but we reached uh, the time limit uh, of our recording uh, as i said before now um, going on to the topic that we were talking about uh, here is the dc motor control circuit using the arduino circuit design that i made on tinkercad now we were saying that uh, our ldr sensor or light dependent resistor also called photoresistor acts uh, here as a digital sensor instead of an analog sensor with the aid of the transistor and potentiometer that we are using both the ldr and the potentiometer are connected to the base of the transistor while the arduino is connected to the collector of the transistor through its digital input uh, pin pin number uh, 11 uh, so the function of the potentiometer is to um, adjust the threshold resistance that the LDR will be operating on and the LDR itself um, be, being uh, a digital uh, sensor now uh, it either gives a high or a 1 when we put our finger on it and uh, block the light so there is dark or uh, a 0 when we, we remove our finger and there is light um, uh, so it basically it gives a 1 or a 0 as a digital uh, input uh, here uh, we use an IC uh, chip uh, with a code L293D uh, which acts as an edge bridge uh, to uh, control uh, the direction of rotation of the DC motor making it move either clockwise or counterclockwise um, actually in hardware we use two relays to make uh, uh, the function of the edge bridge but the relays on Tinkercad um, had different uh, connections and different number of pins so we used this uh, IC chip instead of uh, the two relays uh, and here is the whole circuit design with uh, all uh, the connections uh, done and this led acts just as uh, an uh, indicator for the LDR sensor for uh, the light um, and now in the previous part I just wanted uh, to show you uh, how we could drag and drop uh, our elements into the workspace so then uh, that we can connect them and make our design we dragged a small breadboard you can also uh, drag an Arduino for example for example uh, but it takes uh, some time as in the previous time uh, the previous part so we can leave it now and uh, going to our circuit again uh, in order to simu start simulating our circuit we go to code press on it Uh, and here we write uh, our Arduino code that we wrote in the Arduino IDE just a simple Arduino code containing the logic after we choose text because we can write a block code or a text code so we make sure to choose text here from here then we make sure that the Arduino we're using is Arduino Uno R3. There are, uh, is obviously uh, other types of Arduino we can choose from. And here down below is the serial monitor. So we can view our output. We can also export our circuit design as um, a board or a PCB board on Eagle by pressing on export and then to start the simulation we press on start simulation there is uh, some lag uh, because of the screen recorder app so uh, I really apologize for this lag